Like other countries, France also began the development of the first generation of anti-tank missiles shortly after World War II, and more or less drew on the technology of Germany during the war. The first mature weapon of this kind in France was the SS-10, which was introduced in 1952. SS is the abbreviation of Sol Sol in French, meaning surface to surface. It not only served in the French military but also achieved partial exports. The research and development work began in 1948, and the designers drew on the wire-guided air-to-air missile X-7 from Germany during World War II. The first batch of missiles was introduced in 1952, and after continuous testing and improvement, it officially entered service in 1955 and continued production until 1962. The missile uses a visual aiming plus wire-guided method. The diameter of the missile body is 165 millimeters, the length is 0.86 meters, and the warhead is blunt and round. Four non-foldable wings are installed at the rear of the missile body, distributed in an X shape. There are electrically controlled air deflectors at the rear end of the wings, which the shooter uses to adjust the missile's flight attitude. The missile is generally stored in a simple launch box, and it can also be launched from a guide rail. After the missile is launched, two thin wires are released from the tail, and there is also a tracer at the rear of the missile to facilitate the shooter's observation of the missile's flight attitude. There is a gyroscope inside the missile body, and the instructions transmitted by the shooter are adjusted through the device where the gyroscope is located to control the movement of the air deflectors. The shooter's control box is connected to the launch box by a cable. The shooter observes the missile through optical equipment and gives instructions by moving the handle until the missile hits the target or reaches its maximum range. The missile has a flight speed of 80 meters per second and an effective range of 500 to 1600 meters. The hollow charge warhead weighs 5 kilograms and the armor penetration depth is 420 millimeters. The guidance method of the SS-10 belonged to a common type at that time. This method greatly tested the shooter's proficiency and became more difficult as the distance increased because the shooter was prone to misjudge the distance. It is said that the hit rate of the SS-10 reached 90%, but this was only the result of testing against stationary targets. Some articles pointed out that the hit rate in the actual combat in Algeria was 66%. Regardless of the specific performance of the SS.10 missile, it aroused great interest from other countries during its development. When the missile was just introduced in 1952, the United States purchased a batch for testing. By October 1953, a total of three sets of launch equipment and 500 missiles were purchased, mainly for testing and evaluation. The evaluation results concluded that the missile had not yet reached the practical stage, but was worth continuous attention. In fact, the missile itself had not been finalized and put into mass production and service at that time. In 1958, the United States conducted another round of testing and evaluation on the missile and purchased the SS-10 as temporary equipment and later purchased the next generation SS-11. Israel purchased the SS-10 at the end of 1955, but these missiles were delivered too late and the Israeli army did not use them in the 1956 battle. Sweden, on the other hand, took a different approach. The country also purchased the SS-10 anti-tank missile for testing, but not for anti-tank purposes. Instead, the missiles were installed on T-108 torpedo boats, and the Navy intended to use them as small anti-ship missiles to deal with landing craft. The related tests in Sweden were good, but the missile's range of 1,600 meters was not enough, so Sweden also chose the SS-11 with an increased range of 3,000 meters. France also developed a self-propelled anti-tank missile launcher. They modified Dodge trucks and installed four launchers at the rear of the vehicle, with the missiles facing the tail. During combat, the rear of the vehicle needs to be aligned with the target. Germany also modified a light-tracked chassis for self-propelled anti-tank missile launchers, which should be emergency equipment under the pressure of the steel torrent. The SS.10 anti-tank missile weighs about 15 kilograms, with a length of 0.86 meters, a diameter of 165 millimeters, 
a wingspan of 750 millimeters, an effective range of 500 to 1600 meters, and an armor penetration depth of about 420 millimeters. The total production of the missile was 30,000, and in 1955, the price of one set of launch control equipment plus one missile was 2090 francs.